Hello, it's me Joe again, and I'm back with another video about basic drum technique. I recently made some videos explaining how to play full strokes, down strokes, taps and up strokes. These allow you to develop an efficient way of playing soft and loud notes where you kind of anticipate uh, what you're going to play next. Uh, so the full stroke allows you to play another loud note, a down stroke allows you to play a soft note after a loud note, the tap allows you to play a soft note followed by a, another soft note, and then the up stroke lets you play a soft note that's going to be followed by a, a loud stroke. And today we're going to look at an exercise that will help you to develop a nice fluid motion with at least three of those strokes. So we're going to be using the down stroke, the tap and the up stroke. And what we're going to do is we're going to play accented triplets. And the first way we're going to play that is that we're going to accent the one, two, three, and four in a bar of four groups of triplets. And it looks like this. One, two, and a three, and a four, and a one, two, and a three, and a four, and a one, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a one, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a this exercise involves playing single strokes. So I'm going to be going right, left, right, left, right, left, all the way through. Okay? It goes like this. Down, up, tap, 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 down, up, tap. Pretty simple. Up, tap, down, up, tap. Down, up, tap, 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 down, up, tap. And I'm running out of oxygen there. Now, learn how to play this sequence really accurately. Notice that for practice purposes, I'm lifting up my sticks and I'm doing a really large pronounced movement. Okay? Um, I believe this is the best way to really persuade your hands and your brain to understand what the movements are you're doing. When you start using these movements in everyday playing, you're probably not going to make such large movements. So when you really get the hang of this stuff, you're going to reduce the size of your hand movements to something a bit more sensible. But for really getting the hang of it to start with, I recommend doing big pronounced movements. I'm sure someone will disagree with me. When we start playing this exercise, we want to pay attention to a few really important things. First and foremost, when I throw the stick down, and I hit the pad, I want the stick to just bounce off a couple of centimetres and no further. I'm going to be ready for playing a soft note after the loud note I've just played. So my downstroke has to be controlled. Now, all you have to do is allow the ring finger and the pinky to make contact with the stick and very softly let it sit in the palm of your hand so it touches what I call the heel of the hand. Okay. Um, and if you just wrap your fingers around, you don't have to squeeze, there's no tension involved here. I'm holding the stick very, very softly, but the stick's just allowed to touch the heel of my hand. So as I pull the stick back and drop it down, the strength in my pinky and my ring finger, that's these two, um, is just enough to prevent the stick from bouncing any further back than it has to. Okay? So we want to get that very soft but very controlled movement. Okay? The other thing is when we're playing the upstroke, we want to pull the stick up. In this case, I'm, I'm doing it by pulling the stick from the back and playing a whipping stroke or a molar stroke. But we want to pull the stick up without the preemptive kind of cocking back of the stick, if I'm allowed to say that. I'm going to pull the stick up, and just as I'm pulling the stick up, I let the front drop forward and tap the pad. Okay? Again, you can watch my videos where I explain how to play the upstroke and the downstroke in more detail. Okay? But when you're doing this exercise, it's really important to focus on those things. Here we go. So I'm going to go again. Down, up, tap, down, up, tap. The tap is just a very small movement of the hand. Very relaxed. Up, tap, down, up, tap, down, up, tap, down, up, tap. Notice the big fluid motion. Hopefully it's fluid anyway. Down, up, tap, down. And I very strongly recommend saying this stuff out loud. Down, up, tap, 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 done. Play it as slowly as I'm playing it. Go a little bit slower even if you want to. 
but really, really focus on getting this nice fluid motion of your hands. This will program your body to play efficiently when you're doing accent patterns, whether you're playing on a snare, on a practice pad or around the drum kit. Once you've got used to that pattern, you're going to invert it. What I mean is I'm going to accent the last note of every triplet, which I will count as the uh. So we're going to go one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh. One and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh. And what's happening here is we're going first up. Up, tap, down, up, tap, down. 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 And you, again, pay real good attention to moving the sticks fluidly, pulling the upstroke off the drum without cocking the stick back and letting the downstroke stop a few centimeters from the pad or from the snare drum or whatever surface you're playing. Once you can play both of those really well, you can then combine the two patterns. And what we're gonna do is play one bar of accented triplets and the second bar is going to be accented inverted triplets. And it sounds like this. One and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one two three four one a two a three a four a one two three four one a two a three a four a one three four one a two a three a four a one two three four one a two three see my shoulders going up there always try and notice those things so that's what I call an accented triplets combo exercise because we're combining the uh, accents on the one two three four of the first bar and on the, on the ah 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 of the second bar and what this means is it causes us to change the way we're playing the up and down strokes uh, because we have to switch from one accent pattern to the next so the way this one works is like this down, up, tap, down, up, tap, down, up, tap, down, tap, tap, up, tap, down, up, tap, down, up, tap, down, up, up, down, down, up, tap, down, up, tap, down, down, tap, tap, up, tap, down, up, tap, down, up, tap, down, up, up, down, down, up, tap, up, tap. Down, up, tap, down, tap, tap, up, tap, down, up, tap, down, up, tap, down, up, down, down, up, tap, up, tap, down, up, tap, down, tap, tap, up, tap, down, up, tap, down, up, up, down, down. And again, you can say it out loud. Up, up, one. Two, three, four, one, a two, a three, a four, a one, two, three, four, one, a two, a three, a four, a down, up, tap, down, up, tap, down, up, tap, down, tap, tap, up, tap, down, up, tap, down, up, up, down, down, up, tap, down, up, tap, down, up, tap, down, up, tap, up, tap, down, up, tap, down, up, tap, down, up, up, down, down, up, tap, down, up, down, up, tap, down, tap, tap, up, tap, down, up, tap, down. Up, up, down, down, up, tap, down, up, tap, down, up, tap, down, tap, tap, up, tap, down, up, tap, down, up, tap, tap, up, down, down. Okay, and again, practice all three exercises really, really slowly until your hands are used to playing these lovely smooth motions. You're trying to develop efficiency and a nice fluidity in your hand motions. You're trying to keep your hands and your arms as relaxed as possible. And then when you've really memorized the exercises and you can play them uh, without thinking too much about it, then you can try and work on speeding them up a little bit. And you can do that either by setting a click and playing at different speeds, maybe play at three different speeds for a certain amount of time every day and just gradually increase the tempo. Uh, alternatively, you can go from slow uh, to fast and then 
back to slow again. So maybe you, you start off at a very, very relaxed pace and gradually increase the speed until you get to the fastest tempo you can play accurately and then sit there for a little bit and then gently back off. And that's a good way to help you increase your speed. Um, that's that for today. Um, really get stuck in, play all these exercises slowly, keep yourself relaxed, uh, learn to look at how your arms are working, how your body feels, how the weight of the sticks feels in your hands and so on. Learn to really pay attention to what's going on in your body and with your drumsticks and with your, your pad or your drum while you're doing these exercises. Uh, that will really help you develop a nice precision and a good sound. Uh, as always, if you enjoyed this, click the like button, subscribe to my channel of course, and uh, really, uh, I, I really welcome uh, comments in the comment section. If you enjoyed this and if you want to see something else, let me know. And I'll be back next week with another video. Now go away and practice.